Hi. I will you should have thought hello. It's me. But no, I'm well, I just did. But it's really late for it. I'm up saying myself doing this late, but it's not, Sunday, Monday in New York, Tuesday, busy, Wednesday I had something else, I kind of forgot to, I had notes and everything too, you know, it says, my notes, but I don't actually even know where they are anymore, um, I'm going to talk about the championship week, and just because there's one game this week, I'm going to talk about that, I mean, maybe game. One of my friends, what, I came over and they were for Navy, you know who you were, and I was trying to do maybe something like that, the, on last week, because they were coming over Saturday, um, but, so, Alabama, beat Florida 29-15, Jake Coker, 204 yards passing, I'm gonna get like the stats, I uh, um where are the player stats Who knows? Alright. Alright, oh that right. here is I found it. Two hundred and four passing yards for uh, Coker on hundred and eighty nine rushes on forty four attempts for Henry Drake, 14, 4-14, hey, might not seem like much, but, hey, that means he was healthy and he could play. Jake Coker, 8 for 23, made some good plays, and kept the drive alive. Drive, drive. Calvin Ridley, 102 yards, I mean, I usually don't talk about receivers, but whatever. But, Calvin Ridley is, might be the next Mark Cooper at Alabama, so, he's cool. Jion Harris, 109 completions on 165 yards, and a lot of the, I think he had he had some big plays that did that. His QBR was 5.1. All right, rushing <laughs> the leader was the two guys tied for eight. The QB had minus four on 11 carries. Um, that. So once again for the second trade week, um, Derek Kennedy outgained the opponent Which is pretty cool. I mean And this time he only did 189 not even 270 which says a lot to the defense actually not that kind of I think the, that was Three yards in the second and third quarter for Florida. Yeah, that's how you win a game. The game, Alabama could have won this 36-7. If it wasn't for that big punt return, if they if they actually did, they're not, and they almost, they were like first and goal with like 30 seconds left. They could have easily scored. Yeah. But Alabama's not that team, have a team. Alright, um. Um. Texas won, I mean, no, yeah, Texas beat Bale, sorry. I, I thought I made a mistake. That, um, Texas, two wins over top tier Big 12 teams. That program, I think, is heading now in the right direction. Good high there. Stanford won. Um, Christian McCaffrey broke the record thing. Record. Um, he had 11 yards passing, 207 on the ground, so they couldn't even have the best. But again, and he had 105 on the. the 105 on the receiving Christian McCaffrey and 120 kick returns. So I think it was something over 400 total yards, which is amazing. But if you think about it, Alabama 
doesn't use Derrick Henry as a receiver. And they don't do punt returns with him, kick returns or punt returns with him. I'm just saying. I know it may seem like that I'm defending Derrick Henry here, and I'm not. I'm just saying. So, you might want to go, hey, well, why isn't he, like, better than that or one? Derrick Henry, if you look at the rushing, which is, I think he has, Derrick Henry has more rushing yards. Derrick Henry does not receive much. I think he has, like, less than 10 on the year. But that's also because Alabama has deep threats in Calvin Ridley, um, Marta, Marta Stewart and stuff. Oh, this. Marta Stewart, great catch in the end zone, too. Stanford, though, did not get in the plot, did, did not, though, come up because of wins from Clemson and Alabama. Michigan State. Michigan State. Beat Iowa 16-13. Uh, 22 play game-winning drive. I have five of them and it. All right. Not much to say. Connor Cook. And also Michigan State is playing Alabama. Oklahoma will be playing Clemson. But Oklahoma did not play this week. They, and they already claimed to be drop last week. Because Big 12 did not have a conference championship game. Um, Carl Cook 191. His, like Michigan State is going to have a chance if he's healed. But still, the way they do it is the way you cannot beat Bama. Uh, hard way, the way they run the offense is a hard way to beat Bama. Okay. For sure. I will... I don't think they're going to be a rushing team, if I'm correct. But, for me, may, no, maybe not. But, Iowa, they're known for, like, defense, I think. It was a defense battle. 13-13. Um, not in really much that. Now, Clemson... Clemson now won. Oh, but was it close? And was it close? I mean, I'm saying I'm not saying the officials might have been wrong or something, or I'm saying that Carolina might have won, got extra point, two point conversion, but the officials going off sides on the um. An off onside kick by Carolina with a minute left. They would have had like a little over a minute, three timeouts, and 50 yards to go because they recovered it. But no, there was a flag. And they did not get the second one. Um. So. I mean. Marcus Williams, great game, 224. Um, Deshaun Watson, 289. He's the Heisman finalist. Marcus Williams, 81 yards on the ground, 65 for Elijah Hood. Deshaun Watson, 131 on the yard, ground, and 187 by Wayne Gallman. Got him. I mean, they played a better game, I think, Clemson did, but North Carolina has shown, you know, for everyone who thinks we can't contend or we're, po we're doubters, we contended to the number one team and we almost beat them and we probably could have, should have had the chance to score that on that last drive or to have one more drive because now I think is they don't need to, don't get in that mentality that like you hey you should be we could be in the playoffs because if it wasn't for vets or something 
and then one that really most people don't care about was Temple. John Temple, I still support them. I mean, don't call me a bandwagoner. My mom went there. I just don't, they're not usually good, so I usually don't, you know, watch or follow. I mean, I will follow them a bit, but not to an extent of my position. I mean, here's somebody a good game. Yeah, here's something I always see, I've seen past two weeks against South Carolina versus Clemson, rivalry week, and championship week, uh, time management. Time management, guys, come on. You're down, you need to go touch down. Go, go, go. Fast pace, no huddle offense. All of you running a huddle offense, make it quick and don't. Then make your puzzle. PJ Walker, 287 yards, a touchdown and interception. Greg Ward Jr., only 88 yards. But he did most of his damage on the ground. 184. Jihad Thomas, 69 yards. And that was kind of it. I'm going to have something on my playoff, playoffs coming up. I, I want to say. I'm going to analyze a playoff, playoff game. Now I'm going to file for the other review of the other New Year's Six. And then I'm going to have a review of other balls. Because, let's be honest, there's 25 teams. New Year's Six, 12 of them get in. You got at least 13 that don't go in. And then there's other oh, really good teams out right there, everybody. I just want to say something. You're all um, looking at the eight people. I see a team that I do not think I would see ever up in there. And that team is Western Kentucky. Wow. Talk about the power group of five representing this year. Houston, Navy, Temple. American Athletic represented well. Houston, Temple, Navy, and Memphis. Um, you got Toledo. If you had... Um, Last in Kentucky, in AP. I mean, here a state in the coach school conversation. BYU in the conversation with AP, San Diego State again. Um, Bowling Green, South Florida, Toledo, Arkansas State. I, I guess they're good. So, I mean, every year I know we see two here, but, I mean, think about, there was five that graced the top 25, college football top 25 this year. Three that ended up being there, staying there. Um, well, I guess because now... I want to switch videos, gears on this video, I'm sorry. No, my, I just, I, I just decided my head out, I'm going to make a new video for that.